In the Herm era here at Arizona State, the Sun Devils have not won three games in a row. Back to the beginning of the season, 2-0, they lost the next two games and really spiraled out of control until they've grown it back to get the past two wins at USC, of course, at home against Utah. Everyone following Herm Edwards' press conference, Scotty Gange alongside editor of HouseOfSparky.com, Brady Vernon. The Sun Devils have that chance this week at home in the salute to service game and senior night against UCLA. How can they make it happen, Brady? Well, uh, Hearns talked about always that this team hasn't handled success very well. But they're probably coming off the two biggest wins of the season at USC and then upsetting Utah this past weekend. And yeah, they have a chance of winning three in a row against UCLA, who is a team that's rebuilding under Chip Kelly. Um, but Herm described that they're playing pretty well. The first four games they got blown out and then lost a close one against Washington when they were ranked in the top 10. They have a blowout win against Cal and then a very close one against Arizona. So can they come in here and win? Sure. but. Should they? Probably not. ASU is the better team, and it's handling that success. Like These guys now have a chance, their own destiny going forward in the Pac-12 South. There's a tougher game at Oregon than a rivalry game. There's distractions this week with Senior Day. Can they focus in, make sure they take care of their own business, and it's letting those stars shine. Yes, we always talk about and the kill comes up in big games, but we need to kill the show up in this game as well, in the next two, to finish out his ASU career pretty well. Yeah, and, and the biggest talking point, at least in the first part of the press conference today, was focus for the Devils. And, and it being senior day, all the families are coming in. There's lots of distractions, as you talked about, around senior day. And also just the fact that Arizona State has a chance, and they're in control of the Pac-12 South. What do you think the Sun Devils have to do, really, in just focusing-wise, and to play their best game this Saturday? Just don't think about anything past Saturday. Just make sure it's about UCLA. Seniors need to enjoy their night, and it would be spoiled if they walked away from Sun Devil Stadium for the last time without a victory. And obviously, it's not their last time. They'll be here plenty more times. But, and another thing is, it still salutes service as well this week, and for this school, the whole Pat Tillman thing, it's a big, big deal. So, yeah, there's plenty of distractions despite just playing the game against a team that might be a trap game. So, Again, I don't know what you do to focus, but that's not my job. That's for Herm Edwards and his staff to make sure that these guys handle success well as youngins and make sure the seniors lead by example. Right, and you talk about lead by example for the seniors. Of course, I mean, guys like Manny Wilkins, they've been doing it all year long. Herm Edwards talked about how Manny has stepped up, especially uh, throughout the press conference, but he also talked about how really it's one game at a time. Somebody asked a question of, do you look forward, do you look towards the fact that if you win three games in a row, you're in the Pac-12 South, or you're in the Pac-12 championship game, and he said no, that they're only going for one game at a time, and that he's specifically focusing on UCLA and Chip Kelly. And with that, he actually talked about, he's met Chip Kelly a few times, and uh, he didn't say that they're much great friends, but they have, they have met and worked together before. Yeah, he uh, said multiple times he met Chip Kelly when he was the coach of the Eagles, that Herm was an honorary captain that week, and they've crossed different paths, what, so what and forth. But I guess what I kind of took from that was that he respects Kelly, knows Kelly ran a very insane, incredible program in Oregon when he was there before moving on to the NFL. And say for what you want, Chip Kelly is just a very good football coach. His team's not very good now. Um, you can say his NFL experience was a disaster, but he had multiple 10-plus wins, which a lot of head coaches in the NFL right now can't even say that. So he's a very good head football coach, and you can't take this team lightly because, you know, he does have this offense playing well because that's what he does. And another thing in the focus is Edwards really talked about what the game of football meant to him, right. and he wants to pass that on to his players and talked about how the preparation that goes into it and the ones that go out there and focus during the practices and want to prepare for it are the ones that come out very, very good. He kind of, for example, had Nikhil that Nikhil puts in a ton of work for the week. Kind of shows because Nikhil's really good at the game of football. And he just wants to make sure these guys know that you're going to practice more than you play in your lifetime. And going forward, that's just all you can do. Yeah, he also talked about uh, his relationship with Kevin Mawai and when he was at New York coaching that before every single game he would give him a hug because he, while he was coaching he would give him a hug so that a part of Herm would be with, with Kevin on the field because he couldn't play anymore but a part of him was on the field. Now with Kevin Mawai here at Arizona State he says they're doing the same thing. How cool is that, Brady? I, I was astonished by that. I was like, that was such a cool thing. Like, obviously Herm's days of playing have been over for a while but they're just like, oh, well, can you take me some out there with me? Like, that's really cool to do. We can, he didn't just hug Kevin Hawaii. It was the quarterback at the time and the running back, which with the Jets was Curtis Martin, which 
it's a pretty good guy to out there to have a party be with. So it's pretty cool that when you take a step back and look, like, yes, this is more than a game. These guys love this game of football. They love each other. And at the end of the day, there are bigger things in life than football. Yeah, there are bigger things in life than football. But for the Arizona State community, perhaps the biggest thing this week is at least this Saturday afternoon as UCLA is coming into town to take on the Arizona State Sun Devils. For one more time, I'm Scotty Gaines. He's Brady Vernon. And, hey, we'll see you on Saturday.